Hercules, you're here at last. I have traveled many galaxies to save your planet from these Clargon warriors. Hercules, what are we to do? We are but not against these strange invaders. Well, you're not going to believe this, but when I first met off, he didn't wear underwear. We couldn't afford them in Manchester. More luxury to us. Yeah, imagine how you'd feel with nothing between you and your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Since I met you, you got me into the underwear department and I feel a lot happier, cleaner and more confident in myself since I've been wearing them. I feel as though I'm the same as anybody else in the world now. Well, when you wear underwear, and it's just ordinary underwear, you just feel ordinary, but you put on something that's silky or satiny or looks nice, lace, especially black, you get a feeling that... You feel fresh. Who said fresh? <laughs> I'm not talking about fresh, I'm talking about the lovely I don't mean, in I, you I don't mean the fresh you mean. Ah. <laughs> well, as you're getting older, you, you feel like you haven't got much time left, and so you're trying to grab the little bit that you've got left to make it glamorous. You mightn't look it, but if you can move around and you know your underwear is moving with you, it's a beautiful feeling. And you say, well, you don't care if I'm in an accident or something and they strip me, I've got nice black underwear on. I must be there to see that now. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they make black underwear anyway? For sex reasons. Is that the reason? Yes. Because oh, well. <laughs> you're not showing them, are you? So why make an attraction to the black underwear? Well, I might surprise you. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea then, yeah. Surprise you one night. Stick tease up. Matter of fact, I could wear underwear and nothing on top, but you're not allowed to do it, you'd get fined, wouldn't you? The thoughts. Mm. Underwear thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Well, underwear can have the most amazing effect on other people. It can drive them absolutely bananas if you want it to. Well, we always used to play dress-ups as a child, and I guess I'm still doing that. But now I do it when I go out, and I'll be picking a character or the style of a character, and that might be Mae West or Marilyn or Sophia Loren or someone, or even a rock bitch. And uh, getting the underwear right, that's an important part of creating that feel of that character. It's just game playing and dressing up, you know. Playing the game, but I'm not playing the game, I'm laughing at the same time. I'm laughing at, you know, human sexuality, that it, we like to get into this whole stuff. I've learnt to inspire greed and lust in other people. <laughs> and. When I notice that that has that effect, then I think, oh, I feel very, very attractive and very alluring and you know, sexually interesting today because oh, I've got this wonderful outfit on and I know that it does such and such to them. So I'll put it on again. <laughs> That's the intention. Maybe when I'm older, I'll end up wearing terribly sensible, huge cotton bloomers, but I doubt it. I'll probably wear more outrageous things just because people aren't supposed to. Or maybe I can wear none. When I drive a Porsche and I wear leopard skin underwear, it makes me feel so superior. It's like I'm in a car and I'm putting it on D and I'm flying and I'm going through all the red lights. <laughs> oh, when I don't wear it, I feel naked. I just feel nothing like dust. I meet a girl and she doesn't want to do nothing. That, that's how it makes me feel, but when I put a leopard skin underwear on, Straight away, everything happens, like remote control. <laughs> I like women not to have a shower for a whole week. And then I like her to wear suspenders, the shoes, and without any underpants. And I don't want to tell her to take her shoes off, to leave it on. And I like her to talk dirty, real dirty. I mean the dirtiest. I'm gonna wear leopard skin underwear for the rest of my life because I like them so much. <laughs> Hello. 
My husband's underwear is very basic and boring, right? So he's still in the old jockey Y fronts, this type thing, because he doesn't like the newer style underwear because it's got no fly in it. And he thinks that it's Sheila's pants. He wouldn't have any idea what sort of underwear I was wearing. On the inside line, on the outside line, hang on the next door neighbour's fence. He wouldn't know, like he wouldn't see it. Working in underwear place, as strange as it may seem, it takes quite a few components to make up a bra or a pair of knickers, whatever, uh, that probably people don't realise. Because you have to have then, like you have to have straps, hooks, rings, you know, all these little bits and pieces that you just take for granted on a bra. Oh, when I go for a walk with the dog, I often look in people's backyards at their washing on the line to see if they're a nice white or a daggy grey. Well, I think they use a lot of women in frilly, lacy underwear or this to sell another product. I mean, do you have men in their jock straps and things like this running around to sell cars? No, it's only women they do it to. You know what 98% of men like? They like high heels and black stockings, suspender belts, or maybe crutch or snickers, and no bras. I don't like what I call crap creepers. They're the ones that sort of you have on half an hour and they crawl up your backside. I don't wear underwear to be sexy, I wear underwear to be comfortable. Well, on television the other night, the underwear that there was a uh, demonstration, they said they was uh, more sexy. It made, them, it made them feel more sexy, which I don't know whether it's true or what. Yeah, but it makes you I feel... I never knew underwear would make people so m more sexy. Well, it depends on yourself, I think, really. I mean, why underwear? <laughs> <laughs>